It's AAPI Heritage Month, and despite it being a blockbuster year for AAPI representation in Hollywood, the numbers show that there is still major room for improvement. A new report from Nielsen reveals eight in ten Asian Americans feel that they are underrepresented in the TV and movie industry as compared to other races. However, there are glimmers of hope. That same report finds streaming platforms like Netflix have more than twice the representation on broadcast and three times more representation than their cable counterparts. While Michelle Yeoh and Ki Hui Kwan's historic Academy Award wins help boost AAPI representation, it's clear we need to see more of it. Joining me now is Nancy Wong Yoon, sociologist and author, Real Inequality, Hollywood Actors and Racism. And you know what, Nancy, I need to say it's doctor. So Dr. Nancy Wong Yoon is joining us. Nancy, between NBC's own Peacock, Hulu, Netflix, the streamers, they're leading the charge with AAPA representation. So what can broadcast and cable networks do to gain some ground here? Well, they need to take chances on new shows. They need to um, really consider the Asian American and Pacific Islander uh, population in terms of the fact that they are watching, they are uh, following uh, shows that they want to see themselves, right, represented on screen. And so, um, you know, they, they watch a lot of streaming. And we know that actually the broadcast shows now, they have streaming options as well. And I think that they would be tuning in to broadcast more if they saw that, they, you know, those shows actually look like them. You know, Nancy, earlier this week, something you tweeted really stood out to me. You mentioned how you had a Representation Matters moment during a panel that you were on, and it deals with a line from a 1987 Oscar-nominated Stanley Kubrick film about the Vietnam War called Full Metal Jacket. So that movie and several other films have portrayed very tired tropes of Asian women as the stereotypical sex worker. Talk to us about these harmful stereotypes, especially against Asian American women in Hollywood. Do you find that there's been any type of evolution in terms of how Asian women are portrayed. You did a report that I found to be fascinating, and it said of the, 20, of the 1,200 top grossing films from 2007 to 2018, API women were far more likely to be depicted in sexy clothes and partially naked than any male counterpart. The objectification of Asian women has long been Hollywood's go-to, and so I think that you know, what we're experiencing, think about the Atlanta shooting in, from a couple years ago that, you know, that this, this, that we're temptresses, that we're um, sex workers, that, you know, that all of us, no matter what occupation we, we occupy, that that's the lens through which we are seen. And that's partly because of movies like Full Metal Jacket, even though it's such an old movie, the line of like, you know, me so horny, me love you long time. I mean, it's so disturbing, but almost every Asian woman I know has been propositioned with such a line. And so something like Everything Everywhere All at Once with Michelle Yeoh playing an immigrant mom and even Stephanie Hsu, these are counter uh, images that, you know, that aren't about objectification, but we're no longer the objects. We're the subjects of our own stories and we're fully human, not just something to gaze at, something to, to exist for the white male gaze. Nancy, we talk about representation matters, and obviously we're a visual culture. We see things. We want to be those things. But I think actually behind the camera is important. Your report also noted that of the top 1,300 films from 2007 to 2019, there was only 3.5 percent were API directors, 2.5 percent producers, 3.3 percent as casting directors, and 2.9 percent as creatives. Do you think that there can be a change in front of the camera if there's also significant moves made? behind the camera. Absolutely. We have uh, authentic storytelling that happens when we have creators of color, Asian Americans, you know, behind the camera because their experiences, you know, they know what they are and they can translate that on screen. And we think about, again, the Daniels with Daniel Kwan telling the story of everything everywhere at once, ha centering an Asian American um, immigrant family in a way that we haven't seen before. And, you know, it's super popular. It's the top box office hit as well as Oscar winner. Nancy, I got less than a minute, but I do want to note that AAPI Month coincides with mental health awareness, and we're already dealing with a rise in racism directed towards the AAPI community. Talk a little bit more about how you feel like the wins, like Michelle Yeoh and Ki Hui Kwan, how those wins are actually going to be able to lift a community out of a feeling of oppression and out of a feeling of being under attack. 
Well, the attacks are coming from outside of the community, so it's really important to have those accolades, not just for, you know, feeling like we're proud of what we've accomplished, but also for people to see that, hey, we're part of this society, too. We're part of this fabric, and, and we're also, you know, deserve to be acknowledged for, for all of our contributions, historically, all the way up to today. Nancy, right before you go, can you actually tell people where they might be able to read this report? Because I thought it was really compelling, and I'd like people to be able to access it. Yeah, so you can go to the USC Annenberg. Um, it's a report that you can download for free, and um, as well as my website, nancywyuen.com.